Welcome to our tutorial about input box functions. On the top, I've declared four variables as strings. Below, I've initialized the variables with a value. What are input boxes anyway? We did use them at the beginning of this course. An input box is a function that prompts the user with instructions. Then it awaits the user's input and then returns a string containing the user's input. On the left-hand panel, we can find the input box snippets under the message box branch of the tree. Let's double click. Now let's replace my parameters with the result variable. Currently, we have three arguments entered as strings here. Let's replace them with variables. And here's our first argument. OK, let's copy and paste again. Paste it here. Second argument. And last argument. Let's copy and paste it here. Now, when the input box returns the value, the value will be passed to the argument in the message box function. Let's click OK to run our script and see how it works. Here's our input box. There's the title and message. Let's enter a value, say 60 millimeters, and let's click OK. OK again. And let's double click to open up our rule. The input box has two more arguments which specify the position of the input box from the top left corner of your screen. This distance is calculated in pixels. That's what the 100, 100 refers to 100 pixels from the top and 100 pixels from the left. Originally, this distance was calculated in a unit called tweeps. Let's execute our program to see how it works. Here's our input box. Let's click OK and OK again. Now double click to get back to our code. The input box has only one required argument. The rest of the arguments that you see here are optional. Let's click OK to run our code. Here's our input box. Let's click OK. And OK again. This concludes our tutorial about the input box function.